Hey guys, welcome to my video. Today in this video together, we will model this part. Let's step by step build together. I close this one and I open a new part. On top plane, I create a sketch. I pick two time circle, place them here and the outer is 33 and the inner is 22 and a half. I go to features, extrude for space, I 13, we will make it from mid plane so we can use the uh, planes, existing planes. So it is okay. On top plane, I create a sketch, I pick a line from origin, I start and I continue create something like this and I go one more time over the sketch. And this one, construction geometry. Here I have a 32. Here I have a 12. And here I have a 1 degree. After this, we will bring this to a location where it's not protruding to our open areas. And after this operation, revolve. Revolve is created and right plane selected feature is selected control is pressed and then mirror so it looks fine now i would like to create here another sketch where i will create a circle again and the diameter 27 and a half and i cut it 10 millimeter okay this part is pretty much done in fact uh, what we're gonna do now a reference geometry select the surface clip offset and create a plane at 5 millimeter depth from top where we're gonna create a sketch to use for whole visor and in this plane I created a sketch now so what we're gonna do one here one here and one here we can do also here five times sketch i could copy them but uh, i just little bit manual label work it's okay here 45 here 45 make it also symmetric make this to collinear then I will have in between 90 degree which I would like to have collinear in this one yes it is okay now I have five point in this five point I, with the help of whole visor I will drill holes and these will be threaded holes these are metric four metric four holes positions will be on the surface now I drop them arbitrary, then later I will move them to our points. Uh, two points selected, control is pressed, we say coincident, we say coincident, point is selected, control is pressed, coincident, coincident. Just repeating operation. There is nothing very difficult about it. Yes, and we cut them. They are looking good. Helping objects can be hidden. I will create a chamfers. 0 0.5. Here one, here one. And close this. Fillets with one. Here one. And on this and on this another one. Uh, we create here a sketch, we uh, create a circle, and this will be at the diameter of 10. And then extrude cut, 2, after this operation, I will create a metric 8, and it will be placed here. Once it is done, I select center and then edge 
head, I make them concentric, and depth will be 12. This is looking fine. But this is a little bit strange. Let's change to a, this and a value of 0 0.5. That looks better. So what we're going to do, select this object, select white plane, and mirror, and everything at the other side, which is looking fine. We completed this part, and we can save it. And uh, new folder, examples for my computer. And you will say part 0101. And now I'm going to create another component, which is the little thread, and then the arm at last. So I create a part, I create a sketch, and I draw something like this. Okay. Here I have three. From here to here I have six. This is one. And this is eight. Here is four. If you make like this, it is two. So I will create here, oh, let's do like this, a 60, no, 30, like this. Good. And then we make revolve, and we select chamfers, which is 0 0.25 in this example. And, uh, after the operation, I look from this plane, I say normal to, I create on the surface a sketch. Here a construction geometry, I select it, convert it, then I create something like this. Let me show another trick, if we select three of them in one, we can make symmetric. And here I will create a 90. 90. I will drop it at this point. So the rest is not so important. I will close my sketch. Cut. Up to surface, we can say. And this is selected. We go to circular pattern. We're going to ask me and uh, circular edge. Let's make it 60 time. This is a bit sharp, then I might say 50 with some flatness, even not. I forget it, how much was it in mine. Yes, this is okay, guys. So, this is good, and on the features insert, innovations, cosmetic thread. I will select this one and I will say metric machine threads. It is four. This will be a virtual uh, thread, so I'm not uh, going to create it as a real cut. It is not necessary. Already in the drawings, we do not create such threads. And I have my two parts and the last part here. And then after, we will assemble them. On the front plane, I create a sketch in the new part. Then I create a sketch. Yes, something like this is okay. Then I might add one line because I will use diametral dimensions. I will need this here eight, here 10, here 12, and here dimensions 88 so in total it is 100 it is okay revolve i want to complete first simple operations here is 0 
Now with the chamfers, I added always at the last point, but I'm going to make an operation which is going to be a bit difficult for my computer, which is old. So I, I finished the small details. So I have here a, a create here and a sketch on the surface. It will be it for a thread undercut. This is converted. Select offset, reverse, and I will make 0 0.675. Which is the root diameter of the thread, metric 8, and I will cut it for 1 millimeter. This is a thread undercut. Then insert renovations cosmetic thread, selected metric 125, depth is 10, and which is good. Now the, the real thing is. We select the surface, surface, we create here a circle, and now I will create an helix. Reverse, pitch is 50, pitch and revolution will be active, and then a half revolution we will make. Pitch is 50, but uh, pitch is 100, sorry. We then uh, 50, uh, 0 0.5 revolution, so half revolution, uh, which is good. I select uh, the sprawl and point, and I go to reference geometry. Program going to create there for me a normal plane to the ending point of helix, and I will say here create for me a sketch. I will look from angle. We don't need to always look from uh, normal to because sometimes it's not really helpful you can work like this also we create here a sort of triangle i have three objects i make them symmetric what i did i select three of them in the same time make symmetric otherwise you will just select one by one while your uh, control is pressed so angle is 90 depth is 0 0.25 we close sketch, extrude cut, no, insert cut, which is good. Cut swap selected, top plane selected, we create a mirror. These two objects are selected, control is pressed, I go to circular pattern. So then I select this one and I add here number of operations instances 30. It will take a time. Yes, it is created. I will hide uh, the helping objects, features, let's call them, it's a better way. And I will uh, create last operation and then we are done. Here I select this uh, sketch under helix. I will say 5 millimeter. I will go to fill it. Then I will create here a five radius, so it will be in a semicircle. In fact, this part also done, and we we are saving. And what we got? We have three different parts. We're gonna assemble them. We go to assembly. This is the very easy part. First, I select one. It appears on my screen. Right click load I go inside of part these are features belong to part and this feature tree belong to part I select assembly origin and part origin and I click made so I align them and now part is exactly centered in the assembled center second part is this guy and third part is this guy so I can little bit change display state to work better this is going to be concentric to here and I select this surface I select this surface not that edge surface the surface and I will make coincident here so it is there 
coincident and I copy the part how I did that I click control while it's pressed I just move with my mouse and then it is for me copying a part it could make mirror as well but it's fine I select this object this hole is a threaded hole I make first concentric and I select this face this face and I make them coincident if you see these things you will see that they are undefined so front plane and front plane of these parts if they are made coincident that other defined part will disappear so simply this part is able to rotate what Broden tried to say so front plane front plane front plane of SC front plane of part I make a coincident and uh, uh, last operation is this handsome guy we select him we put it here and I will say you be tangent here so it is a bit protruded and I will copy again like I did before I select him I select this hole and control bus pressed and I go to mate it is fixed now here tangent so now some uh, maybe mirror is better otherwise we're gonna get from same part several time in the assembly tree I copy again I set, select my front plane I select my part yeah this one and then I go again mirror it's okay so uh, let's uh, give some colors here otherwise we have some difficulty to to distinguish which part is what so I click this guy right click part is selected I will make him dark select this one maybe we can come here appearances uh, metal iron let's make like this and the 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 arms maybe brushed steel so we got this view anyway it's looking it's looking good but uh, I I see I miss one thing there should be a flat head screwdriver uh, cut here so I open the part and I will create here a center rectangle second option and I will make it 0 0.75 and then I will cut it like one millimeter if we close this everything will be here updated so it is looking nice it was a nice example I hope for you I, I drew this drew this very very long time ago I remember 2001 maybe as a new beginner and uh, it was nice and you see a lot of operations in fact the whole working principle of the program from starting from a sketch converting to a 3d model assembling one the drawing is missing but I am not going to bother you with drawing it is a very simple operation the most important part is to be able to draw so if you like it hit the like button drop a comment and uh, thanks a lot see you in another video